Leonard McCullum, Ocean Crest. Um, the day after the last zoning meeting, I passed a copy of my speech around Ocean Crest. Uh, the skipper of the boat we unloaded that day, the Joker, a dragger from Portland, Maine, read my speech. And he said to me, you wish somebody in Portland had given a speech like that to the mayor and the city council of Portland before they let developers put in condos along the Portland Harbor. He told me the condos were the beginning of the end of the seafood industry in Portland. There are only a few boats left in Portland now, and the Portland Fish Exchange struggles to stay in business. Gloucester can either welcome the boats from other ports and reap the benefits in 2014 when the fish limits are lifted, or they will find other ports to unload, like Boston and New Bedford. And the tourists the mayor so covets will have no good reason to come to Gloucester. Gloucester will just be like any other beach town in New England. Gloucester is poised to capitalize on the consolidation of the fishing industry because our infrastructure is still intact. The fish are coming back. The stock should be healthy by 2014, according to government scientists. Gloucester needs a city council and a mayor that supports the fishing industry, not one that's in the pockets of the big developers. I want to tap tourist dollars too. But remember, they're only here for three or four months, and then they are gone. It may surprise some of you to know the Birdside building is not empty or abandoned. The freezer is still operating and full of fish. If this property were priced correctly for the current market conditions, it would sell. Intershell just bought the old GMF plant, another distressed property, proving that for the right price, somebody will step up and buy it under the current zoning that's there now. Thank you.